there are many reflexes which are useful in the establishment of the breastfeeding in mother it is milk production reflex that is prolactin reflex and milk ejection reflex that is oxytocin reflex we can remember milk oozing o o milk oozing reflex is oxytocin and milk production reflex is prolactin while in baby suckling swallowing as well as rooting reflex are very much useful for the establishment of the breastfeeding welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to discuss many mcqs which are very much important for neat pg from the topic of nutrition breastfeeding do not skip anything watch till end hi i am dr triya virani malde pediatrician and consultant neonatologist i'll be your guide for pediatric subject if you are new to my channel please do subscribe and give like to this video because lot is going to happen for pediatrics on this channel so first question is sucking and swallowing become coordinated by which week of gestation your options are a 34 weeks b 28 weeks c 32 weeks or it is d 37 weeks and the correct answer is 34 weeks sucking the reflex is developed at 28 weeks of gestation while swallowing starts around 32 weeks of gestation however the coordination of both of this it means baby is sucking and taking pause for the swallowing that coordination will develop at the age of 34 weeks what is significance of this reflex that we can start with breastfeeding anywhere after 34 weeks of the gestation because the coordination is very nicely developed at that time while baby whose gestational age is 32 weeks we cannot start with the direct breastfeeding we have to start with spoon feeding or palade feeding what are the reflexes those are useful for the establishment of the breastfeeding in mother it is prolactin reflex as well as oxytocin reflex in baby it is rooting sucking and swallowing reflex these all reflex act with the positive feedback we are going to discuss what are the stimulating factor and what are the inhibiting factor for this reflexes so let's discuss first prolactin reflex that is milk production remember prolactin is for the production of the milk so these are all thing which stimulate the galactopoiesis early initiation of the feed it means as soon as possible after the delivery irrespective of the mode of the delivery vaginal delivery or it is a cesarean section we should start feeding as soon as possible effective suckling from the baby part whenever the baby is suckling on the breast those nerve winding will send message to the brain for the production of the more milk frequent feed frequency of the feeding should be at least 8 to 10 times per day we should ensure the night feed and there should be a complete emptying of the breast after the end of the feeding those are all positive reflex which will help in the production of the milk while those are all negative feedback if there is delay in the delay in initiation of the feed if there is establishment of the bottle feeding then there could be a nipple confusion by the baby and there could be a less production of the milk and if we introduce any kind of the prelactial feed in the form of honey jaggery or sugar it can also reduce the production of the milk while oxytocin reflex we have to remember o o oozing means oxytocin reflex it is important for the ejection of the milk whatever milk is there in the breast will get ejected by the breast with the help of this reflex it is also called galactokinesis this reflex is stimulated by this reflex is stimulated by things lovingly of baby sound of the baby sight of the baby cry of the baby and confidence of the mother while it is inhibited by the worry stress pain or doubt so next question is breastfeeding should be initiated within hours of after the cesarean delivery 2 hours 1 hours 8 hours or it is 24 hours the correct answer is 1 hour initially it was considered 4 hours but now for the normal delivery within 30 minutes and for cesarean section it is 1 hour breastfeeding for newborn to be started options are as soon as possible after 6 hour after 1 hour or after meconium has passed correct answer is we just now discussed that as soon as possible we should start breastfeeding to give positive feedback to our hormonal mechanisms exclusive breastfeeding is done till the age of 4 months 6 months 8 months or 2 year first of all exclusive bf means only breast milk is given 
nothing else is given no water nothing else is given except drugs which are prescribed by the registered medical practitioner this is called exclusive breastfeeding and it is to be done till the age of 4 months 6 months 8 months or 2 years the correct answer is 6 months the next question is colostrum is rich in iga ige igg or it is igm correct answer is iga so what is colostrum it is called the first immunization of the baby or it is the first vaccine of the baby initial 40 to 50 ml of the yellowish milk is called colostrum it is very much rich in protein as well as iga it contains more sodium immunoglobulin compared to the breast milk and contain less fat and lactose so it could be a spotter what is this and your answer is colostrum compared to breast milk colostrum is rich in protein fat lactose or water we have just now discussed correct answer is it is rich in protein hind milk is rich in carbohydrate protein fat or minerals correct answer is fat what is fore milk and what is hind milk fore milk is secreted in the initial part of the breast feeding while hind milk is secreted in the later part of the breast feeding it contains more water and it satisfy the thirst we have to remember if we have any guest at home first we serve the water so fore milk will be having more of water and while hind milk is secreted in the latter part of the milk rich in the fat and it satisfy the hunger like first we serve the water to the guest and then only we serve the items which are having more of the fat which is important for the satisfaction of the hunger breast milk secretion is maximum at 1 to 2 month 4 month 5 to 6 months or it is 8 month many a time students get confused that initially it is maximum but it is maximum at 5 to 6 months of the age gradually increase maximum by to 5 to 6 months approximately 730 to 740 ml per day breast milk it is, is produced at the age of 5 to 6 months and after that it reduce and it reaches the plateau in room temperature breast milk can be stored for maximum period of 4 hours 6 hours 12 hours or 24 hours here it is maximum so how much time we can store expressed breast milk whenever the mother is not around if she is she is going somewhere or the baby is very small preterm baby who requires to be fed by tube feed or spoon feeding then how much time we should store it it is up to 6 hours and this is the table we have to remember that room temperature the breast milk could be could be stored up to 6 to 8 hours refrigerator 24 hours and frozen less than minus 20 it could be stored till the time of 3 months fatty acid present in breast milk which is important of growth and cns development is docosahexaenoic acid palmitic acid linoleic acid or it is linoleic acid the correct answer is docosahexaenic acid we are going to discuss the advantage of the breast milk lactate it contains lactate albumin which is rich in tryptophan which is important neurotransmitter lactoferrin which help in absorption of iron so it is not available for bacteria bacteriostatic and it inhibit the growth of e coli so it can prevent diarrhea is long chain polysaturated fat it promotes the brain growth and reduce the chances of dyslexia as well as hyperactivity binding proteins binds th- with thyroxine b12 and vitamin d calcium to phosphorus ratio is more than 2 which ensure the absorption of the calcium bssl is bile salt simulated lipase which kills am- amoeba and giardia so it will reduce the chances for amoebic dysentery as well as giardiasis para amino benzoic acid which are protects against the plasmodium vivax malaria we have to remember that it is rich in vitamin a c you have to remember the picture of mother who is feeding in ac room so the breast milk is rich in ac vitamin a and c it is having a deficiency of vitamin b12 d and k we have to remember bdk b12 is especially for the mother who are pure vegan bifidus factors colonization by lactobacillus bifidus iga surface protection to git and rs from various infection and bioactive factors neurotransmitter promotes the growth of the brain so let's arrange the next question is arrange the order of order content of the vitamin k more in a breast milk cow's milk or formula fake we have to remember that vitamin k is 
the highest in cow's milk then formula milk and then breast milk breast milk is having a lower source of vitamin k breast milk is known to transmit tb cmv varicella or rubella correct answer is option b cmv the following component of the breast milk is protective against grd alambia infection bssl lactoferrin bifidus factor or it is glycoconjugate correct answer is just now we have discussed it is bsl we have to remember that bsl giardia as well as para amino benzoic amino acid of the breast milk prevents the risk of which infection plasmodium vivax klebsiella pneumonia giardia cis or e coli we just now discuss it is pp paba protects against plasmodia the protective effects of breast milk are known to be associated with igm antibody mast pufa mast cell or it is iga the correct answer is option d ig antibodies so this is the table which we need to remember that lactoferrin colonize with the iron and it will not made iron available for the bacteria e coli so it will pre- protects against e coli infection bssl protects against amoeba and giardia peroxidase and lipase prevent the growth of all bacteria while paba give protection against malaria what are the contraindication of giving breastfeed there are few absolute contraindication in which we cannot give breastfeeding to the baby and those are if the mother is on chemotherapy if the baby is suffering from galactosemia if there is a diagnosis of congenital lactose intolerance or if mother is on the radiotherapy these are few things in which we cannot give breastfeeding to the baby while maternal hiv tuberculosis active varicella zoster infection and maternal hsv are relative contraindication for giving breastfeeding to the baby breast milk is a good source of all vitamins except vitamin d k b a or e if we have a option of d and k together we have to select it as we know that d and k is not having not in a good amount present in the breast milk while vitamin b12 deficiency is only seen in the mother who are completely vegan so infection transmitted in breast milk there are more chances of cmv than hiv than hbv and hcv only hiv is having relative contraindication rest three conditions anyway we are treating so we can give breast milk to the baby breastfeeding should be avoided by mother on anti tubercular drug for how many weeks your correct answer is 2 weeks if the mother is started with the mother is diagnosed with the tuberculosis and she is putum positive tuberculosis then we can wait for 2 weeks till she is putum negative and by that time we can give after that we can start with the breast feeding however if she takes enough precautions of wearing mask and droplet infection chances are less then the breast milk could be given to the baby these are few things which has to be remembered in reference to the anti tubercular drug women with tb who have treated with att for more than 2 weeks can give the breast feeding most att are safe in breast feeding these agents are secreted in very small concentration but we need to give a supplement a pyridoxine whenever we are having any mother who is in I- inh to to prevent against pyridoxine can deficiency which can cause seizure inh 10 mg per kg per day to be started for all neonate in absence of congenital tb whose mother is having a diagnosis of tuberculosis breast milk is rich in blank when compared to cow's milk lactalbumin protein fat and vitamin k we are going to discuss more less and richer these three things in a comparison of breast milk and cow's milk in upcoming slides so whenever there is a rich word we have to remember that breast milk is rich in lactalbumin compared to cow's milk we have to remember that cow's milk is having more sodium more potassium more protein more osmolarity and more casein than the breast milk while breast milk is having more lactose it is more sweeter than the cow's milk we have to remember 7.4 while it is 4.7 protein is less 1.1 gram it has having more whey protein and less casein and ratio is 40 to 60 Re, the casein is less this less casein make it more digestible while the more casein makes cow's milk less digestible 
so for cow's milk we have to remember five c's for cow's milk c for cow's milk cow's milk is having more casein so it can cause constipation it can cause colic pain as, as well as it can cause cmpa that is cow's milk protein allergy which can lead to bloody diarrhea so cow's milk never to be given to compared with cow's milk mother milk has more lactose more protein more fat or more vitamin k we all know the answer we just now discuss it is more sweeter so it contains more protein rest all uh, rest all component is less in mother's milk amount of protein present in 100 ml of the breast milk is this has to be remembered by you it is 1.1 gram true about cow's milk are all except cow's milk contain 80% of the whey protein not casein cow's milk has less carbohydrate than mother's milk it has more k and sodium than formula milk has more protein than breast milk we all know that it has more casein than the whey protein so this could be the correct answer it has less carbohydrate yes we know 7.4 and 4.7 has more potassium and uh, sodium yes this is also correct it has more protein than this is also correct so option a is incorrect the next question is nipple confusion means baby fed with bottle finding it difficult and confusion to suckle at breast baby not able to suck bottle baby not able to feed with spoon baby not able to feed with palladi nipple confusion means when if the baby has been introduced bottle feeding first then it will get confused between the nipple and the breast so the option a is correct which of the following are true about breast milk it is a richer rich source of iron it contains more carbohydrate than cow's milk it contains more protein than cow's milk and it contain less dha than cow's milk more carbohydrate than cow's milk rest all are incorrect which one of the following is bioactive factor of human milk when compared to formula milk lipoprotein a transforming growth factor lactose or polysaccharides we know all the answer because just now we have discussed this is a bioactive factor that is try or transforming growth factor present which is responsible for the cns growth all are true about breastfeeding except it is available at proper temperature breast milk contain antibodies exclusive bf up to 6 months or to be started after 4 hours of normal delivery we all know these three statements are correct while this is incorrect it has to be started as soon as possible in a normal delivery within half an hour that's all about today's lecture i hope you all understood and learned well or suggestions are welcome for the improvement and let me know what else you would like to learn from it till that time take care of yourself study hard as well as study smart